What about the birds that we have here? Let's take a look at our nine-way split of all the nests that we've got. Quite a few there that we've seen before. Let's go to one we gave you a glimpse of last night, our linnet's nest. And there it is. It's in a gorse bush, quite well hidden. Oh, look, you just see the chicks sticking their heads up there, a little grassy nest hidden in amongst that dead gorse, an impenetrable tangle chosen by the adults. Here's the male, characteristic, with its red chest, grey head, coming in here to feed the young. And immediately we see something which is relatively unusual about these birds. They're finches, of course, but rather than switching from a herbivorous diet of seeds to feed their young invertebrates, insects and other invertebrates during the summer, they continue to feed them on those seeds. Uh, things they find on the ground, dandelion, shepherd's purse, knotgrass, dock, chickweed, charlock, those sorts of small seeds. Male there regurgitated into the mouth of the female. He would have been doing that while she was incubating, but now that she's brooding, he gives her the seeds and she distributes them there to those youngsters. Lovely birds of linnet, a species that's gone through a series of step declines in the UK. It seems to have stabilised a little bit at the moment, but we don't see as many of them as we used to, but they're doing OK down here on Arn on this heathland. OK, before we go, let's take a look round the rest of our nest. We could start with the linnets. Female's been doing a fantastic job today of keeping the sun off of her brood. Look at that little linnet brolly there, and you can see the chicks raising up. They've been feeding them on seeds, a whole range of different seeds which they take from close to the ground, regurgitate directly into the mouths of the chicks and if you look carefully sometimes you can see their throats swollen green with the seeds inside them. There, look at the one at the back. <laughs> Superb.